What a miserable camera. The wheel will spin 3 minutes and 31 seconds. And I'm sure you're not going to want to watch this. But it's balanced well. Imagine having to wait around for this thing to stop. This thing just goes and goes and goes. <clears throat> Slows down to a snail's pace, but you know, I just bought a bag of split shot. Um, one ounce split shot. And works real good. It's almost stopped. There it is. All right, we're going to watch the Bork engine. This is the Bork stroke. This is a one stroke cycle engine. The entire cycle is completed in one stroke. From top dead center to bottom dead center. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. You'll notice the red above the top of the cylinder every time it goes to top dead center. Ignition has happened every single time the crank makes a revolution. This engine fires twice per crankshaft revolution. Let's watch the cycles as they go through one full stroke. Look at the top of the piston. Exhaust, 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 exhaust. The dark blue, the exhaust. Exhaust, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake. All right, we're going to start with the intake, the blue flashes. What's the bottom of the cylinder? Bottom of the, underneath the piston. That's where the intake comes in. You see it's sealed off from the crankshaft. You'll see a transition port right here, transfer port. This transfer port causes the the fuel mixture underneath the piston to get pressurized then it transfers it to the top of the cylinder now it turns to dark blue actually it turns to yellow and it pushes out the the exhaust the E the exhaust port The intake and exhaust port open at the same time on the top of the cylinder, on the top of the piston. Intake comes in, turns yellow, compression, power, and exhaust again. Exhaust and intake again are at the same time. Same thing happens over here. Intake light blue underneath the piston through the transfer port to the top of the piston intake compression power exhaust intake compression power exhaust
This is the Bork one stroke. All four cycles happen every single stroke. This engine with the Scotch yoke can fire twice every revolution. Thank you very much. All right, this is going to be my final try. This is Zane at uh, getting a decent recording of this. How to balance your wheel. Um, what I use is I use split shot. And I've taken a very small drill bit and put it across the inside of the deal and made sure I had a, a nice little slot in there so it'll clap onto the wheel onto the spoke and then just squeeze it a little bit and to lock it in place and with the slightest amount of touch you don't want the wheel to roll backwards so as you go um, all the way around it you're going to wait till it stops make sure it doesn't roll backwards and so there you go that's the best way to do it now what I've done is I've got one two three four and they're all on this this hemisphere here up here because the heavy weight is right here where the where the weld is on the um, the wheel itself so that was the heavy weight uh, at the beginning and you can see sitting right down there at the bottom it doesn't do anything you rotate it up here to where it's at the top set there and it'll do nothing it'll just stay um, with the last point point of reference so I wanted to roll this way when I let go of it so I'm just going to touch it here very lightly and see if it wants to roll back if it doesn't you're pretty well got this baby dialed in to um, zero uh, balance you know the situation okay that's that's it because this video has been the camera has been really finicky I'm gonna just go ahead and stop it there and thanks for watching there you go that's my best shot